I took the buses during my five day trip to Jeju and here is how it went. If you see this, you already may have researched Jeju and have learned that taking bus is not really the recommended route for traveling around Jeju. Most websites will recommend you taking taxi, doing a private transfer, or renting your own car. What I'll do is break down when is the best opportunities or best times to take bus and when it might be better to consider other options for transportation. Because I knew that we will be taking buses a lot during my time at Jeju, we decided to stay near the Jeju bus terminal. Note that for the Jeju bus terminal recently, the timetables have changed. You will see that papers have been placed on top of the timetables. Those papers on top of the timetables are the updated times that the buses run. If you're a little bit unsure of when the buses do run and you don't want to rely on the timetables outside on the wall pillars, you can take a look at the TVs inside to see when your bus is running. For Songsanpo Harbor, I looked at the bus terminal schedule and planned accordingly. We boarded around 7.10 a.m. and got to Songsan Harbor around 8.40 a.m. So the trip there wasn't bad. The return trip was a bit more ambiguous as if you see on Kao and Naver map that there's not really an ETA. However, you can see on Naver and Kakao map that there's a recommended time to start your journey when you're taking the bus. So that should be when you should start heading for the bus. So what I would recommend is following the best route and leaving to walk towards that bus stop a few minutes before just to make sure you're not missing the bus. Um, for us, we were able to catch the 211 bus just as it arrived and we were able to go back to Jeju City right after we came back from Udo. So, time to try a location that is more out of the way. To get to Camellia Hill and Mu Moomin Museum, you have to take two buses. The general rule is that red and blue buses will come a lot more often than green buses. Green buses are for the local Jeju towns, so they'll run much less often and they have limited availability throughout the day. So, when, when we were transferring from our blue bus to the green bus, we waited around 10 minutes, which is not bad, and then we were able to go to Camellia Hill. I've posted the Camellia Hill timetable here, um, so you can take a look and see when those buses run. After we went to Camellia Hill, we decided that waiting for the next bus may take too much time, so we tried calling a taxi, and then we got this message. To be fair, we were in the middle of nowhere, so that makes sense. So at this point, I was just thinking it's better to just wait in the gift shop and just try clicking the button over and over again to see if a taxi driver would come. And after 10 to 15 minutes, we were actually able to call the taxi over. Yay! So one thing I did notice is that there was another taxi driver driving around to see if anyone needed a ride but I would not say it's guaranteed that you'll be able to find a taxi. So for more remote areas of the island, just know it will be harder to find a taxi and you're kind of playing it by ear. So we were able to get the taxi to a five minute drive to Moomin Museum. And then at Moomin Museum, we were able to wait about 10 minutes for the next bus before catching a second bus shortly to go back to Jeju City. For those bus stops in more remote areas, you may not necessarily have a time electronic timetable to see what is happening. At the one near Moomin Museum, one side of the road that had just a sign, and then there's another side that had a sheltered kind of space, but also had an electronic timetable. So it really just depends on the location of where you're at and if you're lucky to get an electronic timetable. Snoopy Garden is unique in that the time that you take the bus will tell if you are able to go directly to Snoopy Museum or not. I've noted the times above so you can see. As you can see, some of them will go and drop you off at a side road that where you would still have to walk 30 to 40 minutes to take the, to go to the Snoopy Museum. So I would definitely not recommend that. Um, but there are allocated bus that will drop you off near the entrance of the Snoopy Museum. 
The Snoopy Museum does not have a timetable like Amelia Hill, but if you use cow map or neighbor map, you should be able to see when the buses come. Snoopy Garden has more people, so you could try getting a taxi from the other bus stop, but again, it is not certain or guaranteed. I would recommend the bus system. I don't really mind waiting or having taking some time to just wait for the bus, and I think it's a lot cheaper in the long run, but I think when it starts to not really be a benefit is if you have a large group and there are people with differing kinds of patients. Um, I think a car renting a car would be a lot easier. Private transfer is one where I really don't suggest just because it just is a lot of money and one day of private transfer can be multiple days that you could just be renting a car. So I wouldn't recommend it. However, if you don't have an IDP, and you do know that you, there are certain locations where you want to knock out and you want to have a private experience, then that's when I would recommend private car. Uh, I also asked a friend who's able to give us a reference for how much it costed to rent a car during her trip there. Um, for my friend who visited it in July 2023, car rental was around USD $110 for four days and three nights. And then the gas was around 30 USD for a full tank. So if you split this with a friend or you split this among a group, it should be much cheaper and it shouldn't cost that much. And that's all you need to know about the Jeju bus system. If you have any comments or any tips about the Jeju bus system, feel free to leave it below. And I hope this video helps. I remember my first time when I visited Jeju, it was really crazy using the buses, but I think being able to kind of share some of the knowledge and insights into the bus system, I hope will help you in your trip um, in Jeju. So thank you for watching and have a good trip. Bye.